Hey YouTube, it's Wolong3 again, and I'm sure you've seen this camera shot before, the blue mat on my workbench, but I've actually changed where my workbench is going to be, um, so that you you might not see this in any more videos, you might, I don't know, it just depends on what I do, so I'm going to show you a full shot of my workbench here. Most of everything is gone off of it now. Um, but this is where all my videos used to be. This is actually, I don't want to show you too much, but this is in my bedroom. All that nice stuff. Um, so, yeah, I actually made a new workshop. So, I'm going to take you there. We're going to do a little tour. And so, yeah. So now we're going, sorry the lighting's going to be bad, now we're going out of my room, through the house, my dog, through the kitchen, out into the backyard, and I'm sorry if it's a little windy, you might not be able to hear everything, but my workshop is actually in a shed in the back of my house back there so we can go do a little tour um yeah it's not that big but it, it's bigger than my room all right let me close this door so you can't hear the wind anymore turn this radio down but yeah this is the new workbench um, pretty nice. I'll do a little tour from the door in. It's not that big, but you know, whatever. So, go through the door. I have two double doors right there, about four feet apart. Is I have about a four foot entrance. It's about six feet high. Um, I do have a small mechanics lamp up there and shelves in each corner. You might not be able to see that. But I do have shelves in each corner. Uh, right now, this is still a shed, so I do still have the lawnmower and yard care stuff, shovels, weed whackers, and then up here above, I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to back up a little bit, but there is yard tools and stuff up here that I can't really get rid of as of now. So, yeah, we'll just go in from here. Um... I have my waders hung up here because I couldn't really find another place to put them. So that's where some of my hunting stuff is. And over here, the knife wall. Um, I have some of the knives hung up there, not all of them. Got the Cold Steel Kukri, Gerber LMF2, the Cold Steel Delta Dart. There's a uh, Leatherman Kick up there. There is uh, Gerber Rivermate, uh, CRKT. Dragon, Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops, some stuff like that. And then uh, I have some other knives over here on the table. Uh, this is a project I'm working on. I'm putting a new handle on this knife. Not done yet. I'll do a video on that later. Um, my workbench is just an old table. I'm, I'm going to try to get a vise on it some time in the future. Right now I'll have a seek lamp, but it works for now. Um, got my little tool wall here. I have a jigsaw, Dremel, palm sander, I have a little hacksaw, a small screwdriver bit kit, um, soldering gun, some wire cutters, pliers, trip line, a level. Uh, yeah, right now there's some PVC pipe down there that I was using for stuff, wooden blocks. Uh, this knife's pretty cool. I think you've seen this before. Uh, Buck 110. See if I can take it out with one hand. Yeah, that's just chilling over there in the corner for now. I haven't find, found a better place for it yet. Um, down here is just the lighting a little bit. Maybe there we go. That's my gun cleaning stuff. Uh, screwdrivers, bits, just stuff I need, patches, oils. 
things like that. Then I have the tape over there. I'm kind of low on tape right now. Um, miscellaneous parts down there. Then up here is the sandpaper shelf. I guess you could call it. I got some 100 grit, 120, uh, some thicker stuff, some attachments for the palm sander, Dremel tool, files, uh, sanding stones, just etc. Just stuff, really, that I use for sanding. And then up again is a Stanley shortcut saw. I have that sitting up there for right now because I haven't found a better place to put it. Uh, my mechanics gloves. I have my radio up on here. Uh, playing Semper Fi by Trace Adkins, I think. Let me see. Yep, Trace Adkins. Um, glasses hanging up there. Always want to wear safety glasses when you're using anything from uh, Dremel to Jigsaw. All, that, all those power tools and stuff over there. You really want to wear glasses because your eyes are important. Uh, I have some hearing protection glasses and stuff up here in this. Uh, holsters and things in this blue, purple box. Um, hose to my shop back, which is down there right now. I don't know if you can see that. Um, hose to my compressor, which is right here. Got that all hooked up. Uh, there's my toolbox, U.S. Marine Corps, sticker on the front, it's pretty cool, just stuff inside, yeah, just, I'll do more in-depth stuff on all of this, but this is just a quick tour for right now, um, down there I got my drill, I have some other stuff in the garage right now that I haven't brought out, and... Yeah, so that's pretty much it. You're going to see most of my videos are going to be here now. I'm going to see if I can't get a tripod. Set it up somewhat at this angle, maybe. I don't know. People just have to see what happens. So, uh, yeah. Oh, one other thing. I got my airbrush kit up here, which is pretty cool. I'll do a review on this. This thing is really cool. I painted quite a bit with it. I, my gun case has a new paint job on it because of this. And... Yeah, pretty cool. So, I don't want to make this video too long, even though it's already seven and a half minutes. But, yeah, so this has been Willin3 in my new workshop. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.